In this quick video, I'll show you how to solve electric circuit problems with integrals. This is question one. The question reads, the current to a certain capacitor is given by the equation i is equal to 2t to the power of 3 plus t squared plus 3, where i represents the current and t represents the time. The initial charge on the capacitor is 6.83 C, which represents coulombs. We are expected to find the expression for the charge on the capacitor and the charge when T is at 5 seconds. Let's start with A. They're expecting us to find an expression for the charge on the capacitor. What we have to do is take the integral of this function, and by taking the integral of a current function, you end up with the function for charge. And that's represented by this letter Q. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start by taking the integral of 2t to the power of 3 plus t squared plus 3. And that should give us the charge Q. Don't forget that is with respect to time. And also, if you want to be extra formal, this should be dQ. And only after taking the integral does this become Q. The antiderivative of 2t to the power of 3 is simple. What we do is we add 1 to the exponent. We take this sum and divide that term by 4. So 2t to the power of 4 over 4 is equal to t to the power of 4 over 2. This becomes t to the power of 3 over 3. And this term becomes plus 3t is equal to q. And to avoid confusion, usually we put plus c for that constant. But because the units for charge is c, we'll use a different letter. So let's use k. Now to find this constant k, what I'll do is substitute 6.83 into q. And because this is the initial charge, that means time is at 0. So I'll substitute t is equal to 0 and 6.83 into q. Let's go ahead and find k. We have 6.83 here is equal to 0 over 2, that goes to 0. 0 over 3, that also goes to 0. 3 times 0 is also 0. So therefore, our constant is 6.83, giving us a final equation of q is equal to t to the power of 4 over 2 plus t to the power of 3 over 3 plus 3t plus 6.83. Now we can move on to part B, which asks us for the charge when t is equal to 5. That's not hard to do. I'll just take this 5 and substitute it into these t's, and I should get my charge in coulombs. Using my calculator, 5 to the power of 4 divided by 2 plus 5 to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 15, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 6.83, and I end up with 376. 376 coulombs. That's it. That is how to solve electric circuit problems with integrals. Make sure to watch question two, where we look at a voltage across a capacitor type problem.